Hey Skidoo Riders, I'm Jonathan, Skidoo Specialist. Today, we're going over when and how to change the drive belt on your Skidoo snowmobile. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to always get the latest Skidoo how-to content and insider info. The drive belt on your Skidoo is really what makes it go. It transfers power from the engine to the track to deliver those thrilling moments on the trails or in the backcountry. You always want to make sure your drive belt is in good working order. That starts with inspecting it before every ride. You want to look for signs of wear and tear like cracking, uneven wear, flat spots or fraying. I like to start every season with a fresh belt for that extra peace of mind. And if you notice a drop in RPMs or inconsistent acceleration while riding, it may be time for a new belt. All you'll need are the tools found inside the left side panel of your sled. With your snowmobile on a level surface, the engine stopped and the tether cord removed, open the small upper side panel where the tools are stored and undo the rubber straps to remove the larger portion of the left side panel. It's important to note that Skidoo trail models have a bit of a different process to access the belt. The large sized panel is on one large piece and there's a belt guard that needs to be removed before you can access the belt. You'll see the tools stored in our small side panel. A suspension adjustment wrench and this curved tool that we use for expanding the driven pulley and adjusting the headlight. Take the pulley expander and insert it into this threaded hole on the adjuster hub of your driven pulley. Next, screw the pulley expander in order to open the sheaves. This will take tension off the belt and make it easier to remove. When you've got the driven pulley open far enough, you can slip the old drive belt over the top and then slip it over the drive pulley below to remove it. It's always a good idea to have a new drive belt on hand at all times. There's even a storage location right here on the sled we can use. So let's grab our new drive belt and put it on. When we put the new drive belt on, pay close attention to the arrows. You want the arrows pointing forward at the top of the driven pulley. When installing the new belt, you'll slip over the lower drive pulley first, then work it over the driven pulley. Next, unscrew the pulley expander to remove the tool. Rotate the driven pulley several times by hand to properly set the belt height between the sheaves. The belt should sit between the sheaves so the cord can sit right below the edge of the sheath. With a new belt installed, you may find it sits too low between the sheaves. If that's the case, you'll need to adjust its height. To do this, you need to loosen the clamping bolt on the adjuster hub with the pulley expander. You don't need to completely remove it. Next, take your suspension wrench and turn the adjuster hub a quarter turn at a time and rotate the driven pulley by hand. Turning the adjuster hub counterclockwise lowers the drive belt, clockwise raises it. Repeat this process until your drive belt is properly set. Once you've found the right belt position, firmly tighten the clamping bolt. Tighten it with a torque wrench to the required specification. Replace the tools in the small side panel, reinstall the large part of the side panel first and secure it with the rubber straps. Then, reinstall the small side panel and properly secure it. Your sled is ready to go. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button for more Ski-Doo snowmobile owner tips. You can also find more great content in the owner zone section of the Ski-Doo website. We'll see you on the snow.